So the Martin County Sheriff's Office says there will be no charges against the six middle school students who spelled a racial slur at Hidden Oaks Middle School. But the school district is still in the process of determining what the disciplinary action should be. WPTV's Lenny Supal has been following this case and she picks up the story from here. The superintendent of Martin County Schools says that they are already administering discipline according to the student code of conduct and that they're following due process to determine what the full extent of discipline should be. At the same time, several members of the black community say that this opens up old wounds of mistreatment from decades ago here in Martin County. Hidden Oaks Middle School exposed for a disturbing and offensive photo taken on campus. The image showing six students holding up 3D letters, spelling out a racial slur and racial stereotypes painted on each letter. The photo quickly spread across social media, catching Jimmy Smith's attention. He's the president of Martin County's NAACP. Uh, I might seem like it's funny or it might just be kids, but no, we all have made mistakes, but when you get to that degree, and that debt to come up with an idea like that, there's something else going on. Smith calls the incident shocking, but quickly added he's not surprised. What I mean by I'm not surprised, and I've been here since 1962. Palm City was a place that we weren't allowed to cross the bridge to go to. He cited Palm City's challenging past with race, reflecting on a time when schools were segregated in South Florida. In my time, uh, 1976, we had the biggest fight with the Ku Klux Klans and I was in school. The school district says they're appalled and saddened by the actions of their students. Art project that was supposed to be designed to help students create 3D projects, an innocent art project, was unfortunately taken to a different level by some students who made an extremely poor decision. A poor decision following an art project in class. Each letter was supposed to represent an initial in their name. We're still trying to gather specifics about how some of the letters that students created came about, considering it wouldn't necessarily be part of their name. School leaders say the investigation could take another 24 hours to complete. Jimmy Smith uh, says he's well, staying patient in the meantime. When you say investigation like they do all around the country, uh, it's always a process. Again, the school system reminds everyone that they must follow due process and the student code of conduct when completing this investigation. Reporting from Martin County, Lenny Sue Paul, WPTV News Channel 5.